Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. We have a couple of breaking stories to get to today, the first of which comes with a set of very scary looking photographs of a plane. You know, a, a commercial airliner that flew or was hit by something as it made its way into a thunderstorm high above the skies over Siberia. And so in this new report here published by Siberian Times, an investigation has been launched as to what exactly it was that caused the damage to this AN-24 twin turboprop plane carrying 30 people aboard, all of which were uh, unharmed, by the way, so thank God for that. But the obvious damage to the nose of the plane completely tearing it apart to where you can actually see into the nose. And what they're saying was that basically the nose of this Anatov aircraft was severely damaged after the plane flew through, quote, unfavorable weather conditions en route from Olenyak to Yakutsk over the country of Siberia. Um, there are rumors that this may have been caused by hail. Uh, as in, they, they flew into a thunderstorm and were hit by hail that literally tore this plane apart. And if that's what it was, then, you know, that's just wow. Now, this rarely does happen. Now, now you know, planes and um, commercial airliners have some very strict rules that they have to abide by in terms of running into hail and flying in thunderstorms. Now, when it comes to hail or whether they think there's going to be hail near them, they have a rule that they must fly at least 20 miles away from said hailstorm. And these are strict FAA guidelines um, for the avoidance of thunderstorms to which all airlines must adhere. Now, I don't know how they do things over in Siberia. Maybe the rules are a little bit more lax, but pilots basically know how to avoid, you know, these massive storms by detouring around the storm, especially where there's likely to be hail. And certainly, you know, I understand sometimes you just hit hail, especially if it's at night, you just it comes out of nowhere, and there's definitely been damage to planes by hail. But we've also had planes that have been hit by other things, more unexplained things. And uh, to this story, they're not just coming out and saying it was hail. And that's kind of what's strange, because if it were hail, you would think that they would know it and the pilot would just state it. However, instead of saying hail, they're saying that the plane flew through, quote, unfavorable weather conditions and that Polar Airlines has denied that a lightning strike was responsible, saying that another possible cause could be hailstones, but that, quote, it is far from clear what happened, and that air safety watchdog Rose Aviation has set up a commission to investigate the incident. And so, yeah, um, this is just scary. I have a personal fear of heights. I mean, I can't even get on a roller coaster, um, let alone planes. But if this is the type of damage, you know, that, that just weather is causing. I mean, these planes are fortified to withstand things like hail or bird strikes. And what's kind of strange about this is that if they were flying through hail, why is there no damage to the windows? I mean, the rest of the plane looks pretty much undamaged. And if you look at other images where it actually was hit by hail, which does cause a lot of damage, normally you see everything damaged, including the windows, which are nine times out of ten just completely shattered, as you're seeing in this image here. But still, I mean, it's basically just cosmetic damage for the most part when you run into hail. Not like what we're seeing here where, it, I mean, it looks like something has drilled a, a hole into the nose cone of this plane. And the fact that they're kind of being hush-hush about what exactly it may have been, who knows, guys. We've definitely reported on stories in the past where planes have been hit by straight-up UFOs. Uh, where, the, you know, well, we did a video recently where a plane carrying a group of NBA uh, basketball stars was hit by an unknown object confirmed not to be a bird, but something that completely caved in the nose cone of their plane. And I'll post a link to that video down below if you guys want to check it out. But um, again, whether this was something unnatural, whether this was just weather, I mean, it's crazy to see what weather can do. And, you know, we've been talking about in uh, recent videos about how things having to do with weather are escalating around the world, whether it be through massive dust storms to water disappearing from beaches and shorelines around the world. I don't know what's going on, guys. So 
you know, weather manipulation, who knows? Tell me what you think down below. Really crazy photos. And now in other news, some UFO sighting news. There is a bit of a breaking story happening right now out of China where we had this sort of mass sighting of something in the sky taken by multiple people, multiple different video cameras of these lights in the sky that we've actually seen before and that we've dubbed by the term leapfrogging lights or leapfrog UFOs, which are basically these lights that will appear to leapfrog or jump over one another. So you'll have a light that appears, it'll vanish, another one will appear in front of it. Some have said this is actually um, a triangular object that's actually spinning. But you guys take a look here and tell me what you think. Okay, so this was posted by W.G. Hang, or Hang, I, I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, but uh, it was captured in southwestern China, where, I mean, as you guys can see, we have these sort of leapfrogging bright lights going on and off, um, some say dividing, some say rotating, we don't know, but we definitely don't see any sort of aircraft flying by, possibly dropping flares or something like that. It was obviously something that went on for a while, because in different shots, it looks as if it's a different time of the day. People <clears throat> were up in arms over this in China, so definitely it's an ongoing story. We're trying to figure out what it was and get more footage. The strange lights were observed over Chongqing, China. Again, probably butchering that. Um, C-H-O-N-G-Q-I-N-G. Chongqing. So... Anybody out there in that area of China, if you have any more footage, um, you know, send it in and um, we'll try to figure out what these lights are. But we've definitely seen them before. They're very mysterious. The way that they appear to flicker and sort of jump over one another as they move through the sky, it's, uh, it's truly is a sight to see. So tell me what you guys think about this down below. And lastly today, we have another piece of very eerie UFO footage that was just sent over to me by the YouTube channel Anomalous Sky. And this is actually a new channel, it's their very first video, and with the name that they're calling it, I'm guessing they're going to be posting uh, much more in terms of anomalous things happening in the skies near Oregon. Um, they, they said this was taken, so, um, you know, it goes back to our recent video about how Oregon... Uh, it was basically one of the number one states in the U.S. for UFO sightings. And so they posted this um, around six to seven minute long video where they filmed this strange sort of circular or, or, or oval. It was more oval in shape, kind of looks like a bubble or a balloon, but it's not. And this thing was observed locked into the sky, not being affected by wind or anything like that for hours as it slowly moved through the sky. And these guys did a great job of filming it, sort of uh, ruling out other celestial objects like the moon or other planets. And well, I'll just play you uh, certain parts of this video and then when it's done, you guys can head over and watch the full video on their channel. I'll put the link down below. So without further ado, here uh, are the best parts of this footage and how they came to record it. We're floating on Lucky Peak in our raft and we're just laid back and we're like, what is that? And we're like, balloon? I don't know, you know, and then after about an hour, it's like, that's definitely not a balloon. Because it was going against the wind, the winds are going this way. It's been moving that way for almost three hours. Oh. 
What can stay that still in the sky? This definitely isn't Venus because the diameter is wider than Jupiter and I took pictures of it just the other night. It's not Venus because the star map would show it to be in that spot and it's not. And it also moved different in relation to the sun, you know? Okay, so yeah, what do you guys think? Again, uh, the Anomalous Sky channel has done a great job here of rolling out other celestial objects, planes, the moon, other planets, and, you know, again, this object truly is perplexing, and it's a straight-up legit sighting. I am dumbfounded as to what this could be. It was captured by multiple different 4K cameras on tripods. Could this be some sort of ship of an off-world nature could this be something being secretly tested but you know the thing was up there it's kind of hiding up there so you had to sort of adjust the camera bring down the brightness a bit to see it but the damn thing was there so great capture by anomalous sky again go to their channel show them some love watch the full video and uh, we will definitely be following up with them and see what they capture if they get some more of these strange orbs like in this footage or just what else, you know, these guys definitely seem to know what they're doing. So stay tuned, I'm happy to work with them. Tell me what you guys think about everything we've talked about today. The strangeness continues around the world, so be sure to stick right here with Secure Team, your number one source for breaking news, analysis, video, and images of the strange activity happening both on and off our planet. We are certainly not alone and uh, we will continue this search video by video, piece by piece of evidence. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you back in just a bit.